Something's lost, but something's gained here.
Why don't we talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing? If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out, and it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything. Don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? Down that path? Well, would be a poor reason to accept. Ambition is poison.
Here's the one Valhalla single night for you. Grand. We should be free to move up to the next area now. <sighs> now. We must keep the primordial realms up here on the top shelf. Getting back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition to be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, right? Make the world a better place. I think
think maybe that image of you is symbolic of your desire to walk a righteous path. Valhalla's little signpost. You are sure accepting Freya's offer is the right thing for me? Or for the realms? I think we are here to make sure about that. One way or the other. We're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. Hello, me again! If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye, aye, asshole. Always looking for an edge. Is this a game to you? <laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. This one looks easy. Oh. Easy is what you're all about. He's on his dad. No one. Ugh! <laughs> 
Someone told you to kill! Yay! Eyeball tentacles? <laughs> no to this. Oh. Um, something big and gassy. <laughs> Be seeing you, Spartan. Kratos, I've been waiting to have a word with you. Uh, we are seeking. She is resting, healing. What she did for you two in there. That should not have happened. It's bad enough you're risking your own lives, but it isn't just you paying the price. This is exactly what I was worried about. Freya, what do you wish? That I quit? Sigrun believed I should see this through. That Valhalla can help. Yes, she does. I... I just want you to be careful. I need her. And I need you too. No more bending the rules in there. All right? All right. I can't help reflecting that you only broke Valhalla's rules to save me. I wouldn't have let you if I'd known Sigrun would suffer for it. Sigrun has no such regret. To adapt is to lean into the alchemy of turning adversity into advantage. Perfection may be unattainable, but imagine striving for any less. Yeah! <laughs> 
to speak about Sigrun. She was eager to receive you many days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested. And you are evading the question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Sigrun made a cloud berry and hazelnut pudding. But I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. I must interrupt. Oh, please. Concentrate. happened that night between you and Sigrun. Well, we stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Mm. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, but the lake was sun-dappled and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you speak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Yeah! 
You need it. Right then, time to ascend to the next area if you're ready. Let's 
between you and Sigrun on the lake. Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me, and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm. Good brother, I mean. There's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But hard to name it, so old they are. It took me a bit off guard. Go! Oh. 
What a thrill! been gotten. Only getting harder as you delay, Kratos.
your targets walking around unkilled. Use that Bifrost magic. Get it off! Things just got harder. Did you forget that haste is a factor here? Better hurry. Enemies will only get tougher the longer you take it. Incoming. Watch your left! 
Heading back to the cage, are we? I guess Valhalla is giving you a second chance. This time, Kratos. Wait! No, don't tell me. The suspense is honestly the only thing keeping me awake back here. <laughs> it only counts as a sacrifice if you give up someone you value. I think we all know that's not me. Why are you here? Cyclops! Never guess their weak spot.
Brother? Oh, who are we now? Tia! The invitation was yours. I would have signed it. But it was important you come here for your own reasons. Then you're not an illusion. You're in the flesh, old friend. What do you want? I know what you're wrestling with, Spartan. I understand it better than you realize. The shame. The doubt. The question. I could find no answer for until I came here. Lifetimes ago. Stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh, I'm not here to spoil that for you. Only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us... Fighting occupies the body, while our minds work out the rest. Because... You're not ready. Yet. Show me. Scotty! Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Mimir. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know his mind is done. Fight! Defend yourself. I lost focus that time. Well struck, Kratos. Arms up. a deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Yeah! 
ready. Having fun yet? <laughs> Come on! Now you're fighting to win! Well done, Kratos. I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. constant flux. Adaptability gives us a means to navigate the uncertainty. Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? It's never been easier to be better.
Use this. It's more than practicing techniques, isn't it? You're practicing an art. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. I am listening. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. <clears throat> We're all impressed by your progress, General. We've never seen anyone engage Valhalla quite the way you have. Seekern, it's good to see you back. Freya was just being cautious. I'm right as rain. How fares your journey? We have uncovered our host. It is Tyr. Tyr, you say? Aye, and no projection either. I never knew his connection to Valhalla was so strong. But then, he goes back further than I do. Fascinating. Kratos, I'm glad to see you're back inside. It seems Valhalla has arranged something special for you in the throne room. See you again soon, Kratos. this. You remember this, Kratos. The memory is vivid. A familiar scene to any that know your legend. A man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares. It stave off the barbarian horde. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Where? If I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. <sighs> At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. A memory fragment of your time in Alfheim, then. Tell me, who was Kratos of Sparta the day you made your pledge to Ares? I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. 
I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat, my command of the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal, fiercely so. How many Spartans did you command? Not enough that day. How many barbarians did you face? Thousands. Boost this time around, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 